So Georgian Mining Corporation, why I feel the investment case is extremely strong at present. Um, to begin with, uh, in the last couple of weeks, they've announced um, incredibly high grade results, both in copper and in uh, gold, with um, well, what I've certainly never seen uh, such high grades. Um, I think there was a meter 40% copper, and um, I think it was 10 to 15 meters at 15% uh, copper, which from my limited understanding of mining and uh, sort of uh, minerals exploration, I believe that, you know, one and a half, two percent copper is excellent. So to have grades in this region is fantastic. Um, additionally, the company was targeting multiple zones of um, copper and it appears that it's now not three separate zones. It's all one large zone. The gold that they've hit, um, in my experience, one and a half to two grams um, a ton are good results. And a lot of the intercepts they've had are at six grams a ton. They have uh, an 860 square kilometer license. There's still loads of drill results to come out. All of the results that they've drilled, it's open every in all directions, both down and um, across. The... Um, Additionally, they have 50% of the project. Their joint venture partner has a float, flotation plant um, and is able to process both copper and gold. Um, they're funded. They're working in a relatively safe jurisdiction for mining. Um, Georgia's, I would say, far preferential place to be working compared to South Africa and Zimbabwe, with the, which still has the benefit of being a low-cost area to work. The market cap is about thirteen million pounds, which I think is extremely low. I mean, if you look at uh, Mod Resources and Metal Tiger's share price, I would suggest that the opportunity that Georgia Mining Company has is certainly on a par. Now they haven't done so much drilling and they haven't defined the resource, but they're hitting much higher grades. They own fifty percent, and they've got, uh, and they've got access to a plant with spare capacity. I think the um, thirty million pounds is ridiculously undervalued. Um, of course, there is downside risk in the copper and gold price. Um, the company may, as occurred about six months ago, may decide not to start producing as soon as possible for the simple reason that they're trying to define the resource and seeing as the resource absolutely appears to be huge, they might struggle in my opinion, to actually get it into production. I mean, it's always, you know, companies uh, promise, oh, yes, well, production will be this quarter or shortly, and, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they don't, if, you know, if uh, the production isn't, in fact, until next year. Um, at the moment, there, there's no need to raise any cash, seeing as they've raised about two and a half million, and institutional investors are have been taking a stake recently. If, if there was a placing along the way, I, or... To be done, I would expect that they would have already approached the, the, the company um, because otherwise I don't see why they'd be buying on the open market. Um, yes, the gold price has come back a little bit, but to be honest, with the the level of margins, which um, yeah, Geo should be able to get uh, from the project, I um, I really I see the downside being extremely limited, either you know, just from how large this resource could be, I think it's extremely cheap. And then when you factor in the fact that they could actually have cash, let's say certainly in a year, I think they'd really be cocking it up to the max not to be able to have cash. And I just think that the, the market cap's insane. I've actually broken my um, sort of investment rules and bought a larger stake, increased my stake by about 30% because I just, the, the market cap to me just is stupid. Um, that you know they they've announced the best results of any company that I've ever seen, um, and the market cap doesn't reflect that at all. Yes, they the price has doubled, but it's doubled from a price where the market had slammed the shares down because they weren't happy about production not coming online. So yes, the, the price was was low, but the market wasn't happy. But now I would suggest that the market um, is quite frankly completely asleep. Maybe, however, they are taking into account the fact that 
uh, the company has essentially underperformed for the last five years and certainly when I first invested um, in what was um, Norikum Gold they had a different profile and they were you know and it was promised that they were going to be uh, producing and generating cash flow as of last year and then obviously that didn't happen which pissed quite a lot of people off. I wasn't particularly happy, but I did hold on to the shares because I thought, well, the reason they're not doing this is because they have they think they found something great. Then obviously the resort, they, they came up with the initial resource, which was just, which didn't include any of the new drilling results. And people sort of thought, that, oh, well, that's it and thought it was crap, but they just misunderstood those. So I I still think the, um, the company, of course, there is always the, the question of um, the share options that were, were being awarded. I... I think they had, they did seem to award themselves rather rather a lot, um, but with the the combination of tons of news flow, um, upside from production, drilling results that are off the charts, I I think that um, Georgia Mining Company is a fantastic investment, um, and I hope that you know even if the share price wafts down a little from here. You know, in a year or two, this I, I believe that this company should be worth more, certainly more like £50 million.